All right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Get Your Nerd On Daily, issue two. Today we have, I mean, there's only one great thing that I need to share with you today, but we're gonna talk about a couple of things because I found some, some other stuff. One being, we finally got Sora for Smash. A lot of us have been waiting for this moment. A lot of us have wanted this moment. And yesterday I said that would be really fucking cool. And we got Sora for Smash Bros. And not only did we get that, we got to see fucking uh, Mario throw a Keyblade. And then Sora ends up taking the Keyblade. It is just really cool. He just floats through the fucking sky and all that shit, dog. It is awesome. All right. But not only that, Nintendo Switch is finally getting every single Kingdom Hearts game, the original and the spinoffs from every numbered game, as well as Union Cross. Now, I'm not sure if the Union Cross is going to be available everywhere or if they just meant mobile or if they just meant Switch. But Union Cross's offline story um, videos will be available to everyone on whatever device they're putting it on. So that's great too, because that's a part of the story and we need that story. I mean, it's Young Xehanort and a lot of the adventures that goes on with the darkness, or was it Young Xehanort? I might be a little off on that, but I know it's Xehanort related. And also, darkness became like a capital D and no more lowercase d. And that's important to the story. Trust me, everything in Kingdom Hearts is important to Kingdom Hearts, all right? But that's not all. We also have, on the gaming tip, Xbox supposedly is trying out three studios. They're working with them, having them develop video games, working with the team to see how they play with the Microsoft name. And possibly if the waters are tested well enough, they just might acquire them. The three studios are IO Interactive, Crystal Dynamics, and Avalanche Games. Now, Avalanche Studios. And we'll see exactly if these rumors are true or if they're just hiring them to work on video games and that's literally it and there's no acquisition happening. But I would not be surprised if they're actually trying to acquire more as they should. But again, I think they should go ahead more in the Japanese direction of stuff. I mean, that's a topic that I leave from a podcast because there's too much to talk about in that realm. I talk about it quite a lot actually. Now, Away from that, James Gunn has admitted on Twitter that he is going to be doing yet another DC project, which is actually kind of cool. He seems like the only person who's doing a, I don't say, linear, stupid updates, linear version of anything in the DC landscape. Um, I mean, he has Suicide Squad, then a Peacemaker show that's coming out of that, and then who knows, maybe this is another spinoff off of um, Suicide Squad. And it'll literally be the only thing that's like 100% we know for a fact this is in continuity of whatever the fuck else this man has made. So that's cool. Can't wait to see what happens in that realm. Because even though the DC movies are like super miss sometimes, or maybe like light hit, you know, um, I'm excited to still watch them. Now, we have two last things for you. One is... Dave Chappelle announced his possibly last special on Netflix, The Closer. But even if that is the last one, I am 100% sure. Don't take my word for it. I'm 100% sure Netflix is just going to cut that check. I mean, Dave Chappelle is too big. He's a really awesome act. His shit is funny. Like, Dave Chappelle knows what the fuck he wants. He knows what he's doing. He's a very roundabout comedian. Like, he can hit whatever spots you need him to hit in comedy. So if people need to laugh. Netflix should definitely keep Dave Chappelle on the good side, and they're probably preparing that check right now. They really are. They probably had the check pre-prepared. Who knows? But I don't think that's the last we're going to see of Dave on Netflix. Now, the last thing that I got for you, the very last thing, something I'm not a fan of, but all of you might be. Game of Thrones House of Dragons has been announced with a really cool trailer, and it looks dark, and it looks brooding, and it makes me want to watch it. Now, there better be dragons, because if I turn this on and I don't see a fucking dragon anywhere, I'm going to be a little upset. I like dragons. I mean, plus the logo is like a three-headed dragon. Who doesn't like dragons? I do. So I'm probably going to try it out. Probably going to go back and watch stuff if that's fucking good. I only seen season one, but hey, doesn't hurt to go back. Just wasn't my thing. 
Everyone says it's my thing, but like, I don't know, man. I couldn't get onto it. But hey, y'all might like it, so I'm here to tell y'all that. And that is everything in this issue of Get Your Nerd On Daily. Thank you for stopping by. See you next time.